Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Premier League Prediction. There's a few things I want to talk about, um, not just about the league results and the league results we're going to go back to the midweek one before the FA Cup took place. Um, you know, so I want, I want to get down to this video quite quickly because I do want to cover quite a lot. What's been said and you know, what managers are planning on doing and all that kinds of stuff. So I really want to get down to this video. So guys, anyway, this video is sponsored by LOR T-Shirt Company. They sell my merch. The link for my merch is down in the description below. So go feel free to check out after watching this amazing video. Um, but anyway, guys, you know what I do. So guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and let's go. So the first game we're going to talk about is Leicester versus Chelsea. Um, Leicester beating West Ham 4-1 at home. A very dominant performance I thought that was by uh, Leicester. Um, Chelsea drawing 2-2 away at home to Arsenal. Um, as the league stands, you've got Chelsea in fourth with 40 points. Two wins at the last five. Um, and you've got Leicester in third, 48 points with three wins out of the last five. Um, this game I think is going to be quite interesting. On oh, no a matter of fact, it's third, first, and fourth. Um, the update on Jamie Vardy, um, you know, could possibly fit uh, during this. The injury weren't as bad as what um, Brendan Rodgers and the Leicester team first thought it was. And Chelsea, I don't go sign anyone in this window. If you check it out before the deadline, feel free to put it down in the comments below what you think about that one. Um, I'm looking at transfers, and it's very little speculation going on at Chelsea. So this one could be an interesting window for Chelsea. Going forward to the game, both teams are going to go, you know, with a sort of confidence issue. Um, I'm going to call this one a draw, and I'm going to go for a free all scoreline for that one. My next one is AFC Bournemouth versus Aston Villa. Yes, Bournemouth to get knocked out of the cup by Arsenal, 2-1. Uh, but go back to the league, and Bournemouth's last league game was a 3-1 win over Brighton and over Albion. Um, I don't quite know what to take about Bournemouth performance. Um, you know, to talk about the game, here in the game, Brighton was so disappointed. Um, so, you know, Bournemouth deserved the three points, turned up on the night. Obviously, both teams are sitting close to the relegation battle. Um, if Villa lose this weekend, then they could end up back in the bottom three. And, you know, there's all different circumstances. And one on to Villa. They beat Watford 2 1 at home, the previous result. Look at the league stacks. Um, West Ham have only won one in the last five, same as Bournemouth. The only difference between West Ham and Bournemouth is they've drawn one out of the last five rows. Bournemouth lost four in a row and won that one against Brighton. Um, but I think this is going to be a very dodgy game. I'm going to go for a one now Aston Villa win. My next one is Crystal Palace versus Sheffield United. Um, Crystal Palace lose a 2-0 at home to Southampton. Um, good three points for Southampton. I possibly do think there it's, uh, you know, one of them results that Southampton are on the form at the minute. So it was a result that we were expecting to get. 
Um, Sheffield United losing one 0 at home to Manchester City. No real biggie there. Um, if I was a Sheffield United fan, you know you're currently sitting in eighth place, thirty three points, ten points above the relegation zone. I mean this is how tight it is um, the Premier League this year. I mean you've got Man United in fifth with thirty four points. That's only eleven points clear if they drop four loses and four wins for them lower league clubs because see see main clubs like Man United in there. But um but Sheffield United Sheffield United fan, I'll be happy pick take a one 0 defeat to um Manchester City at home. Obviously you're the real fans, tell me how you feel in the comments below. Um let's go over and talk about Crystal Palace for a minute. Crystal Palace coach sitting in eleven 30 points, drawing four out of the last five, losing the other one. Sheffield United uh, winning one, drawing one, and losing the other three in the last five. I'm going to call this game one way, and I'm going to go for a 2 1 Sheffield United win. My next one is Liverpool versus Southampton. Um, right, big talking points here, but I'm going to cover the results first. Um, I wanted to talk about what Klopp's have said in the press um, about the uh, replay of the cup. Um, Liverpool beating Wolverhampton 2-1. Um, Southampton beating Crystal Palace 2-0 um, away from home. Right, let's go over to um, Liverpool and... Yeah, they played in the cup, and I'm going to talk about that as well. So this is going to be one of my main talking points. Um, right, let's go first to what Klopp said. He is not going to be there for the FA Cup replay against Northampton Town at Anfield. Um, the players are on the winter break, the first team. Um, so he's going to get the under-23s to play first, uh, play the game, sorry. Um, Klopp's not even going to be there, he's going to be away and the uh, reserve manager is going to take charge. For the long term Klopp, you should stay there. I know you're missing a day off holiday, but you're looking at your future stars. Why aren't you there? Um, I find that really, um, you know, wrong of Klopp. And yeah, as far as I'm concerned, he should be there, supporting the boys, seeing what the boys can do. Um, who knows when they might be called up themselves and, you know, Klopp could look at this game and go, oh, I wish I was there for that one. Um, another thing on Liverpool, yes, it's again on their Northampton Town uh, draw. Northampton Town's penalty. Now, this is where I really am not happy about VAR being used in the FA Cup. VAR is used in the FA Cup only for Premier League grounds. As far as I know, that's what it's there for. Um, until next season, if it comes in the Championship, then yeah, maybe use the Championship grounds as well. But, how can you use VAR in a good competition like this and still not use it at every ground? If you're not going to use it at every ground, don't use it at all. Because North Hampton Town had the penalty, and it went in the box, it was outside the box. Um, so the ref got that one wrong. Um, VAR overall, I'm still a big fan of it. Um, I've been watching championship games. I've been watching games without VAR. And I can see the improvement with the VAR. Even though when it goes against my club, it will be a bit annoying. But, you know, it's something we have to put up with. Um, but... As I said, watching championship games with VAR, without VAR, sorry, ain't in the championship yet, and they're still getting called wrong. And this is where I sit down and go, I still rather have VAR. I still rather have an even game than not. So, but you're entitled to your own opinions. Uh, feel free to put your opinions down below. Um, let's go over to Southampton. Southampton company in ninth, 31 points. Um, you know, winning throughout the last five, uh, sorry, throughout the last five, Liverpool currently top, nearly crossed their record at Northampton Town, but lucky managed to scrape a draw, um, and had chances to win that game as well. 
but they have won all their last five games. Um, going forward with this one, I can only see us going one way and I'll go for a 2-1 Liverpool win. My next one is Newcastle versus Norwich. Um, Newcastle, I really want you Newcastle fans to talk about Steve Bruce and the job he's doing. I know a lot of you weren't happy when he first started, um, but... You know, are you settling with him now? Are you happy as your manager? Please feel free to put all your comments down below. Um, Newcastle joined 2-2 two -two away, away to Everton. Um, Norwich loses 2-1 away to Tottenham. And Tottenham were very lucky to get the three points out of that game. By the way, I'm just going to say that. Um, Norwich currently bottom of the league, winning one out of the last five. Um, Newcastle are in 14th. 30 points, winning one out of the last five, so very similar stacks going into these game. Um, the only difference is Norwich have drawn one more. Hold on a minute. No, they haven't. So they're exactly the same sort of stats going into this game, which I'm only call this game one way. I'm going to go for a draw, and I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Watford versus Everton. Um, Watford, Nigel Pearson yet again, saving the club, but he lost 2-1 to Villa at, away from home in the previous uh, fixture, in the previous result, sorry. Um, Everton, 2-2 at home to Newcastle. Um, yeah, um, Carlo doing a great job at Everton as well. Um, Watford are back in the relegation zone by only goal difference. Um, Watford on minus 15, West Ham on minus 11, but they're drawn points. So, you know, they could easily be coming out of the relegation zone again after the, this weekend's fixtures, um, results or fixtures, whatever you want to call them. Um, but, you know, Everton, as I said, Carlo doing a great job and in turn the last five, 30 points. So that's 30 points going up against 23 points. Because they're two good managers, they're two good sides. Um, I'm going to go for a draw and I'm going to go for a 2 all scoreline for that one. My next one is West Ham versus Brighton over Albion. Brighton over Albion loses 3 1 away to Bournemouth. I'm going to talk more about that in just a minute. Um, I thought that with the likes of, you know, who plays for Brighton, but as I say, I'll talk more about that in a minute. Um, West Ham losing 4 1 away to Leicester. Disappointing day for West Ham. Um, but this week, oh, it's got to be a good game. Um, coming from a neutral perspective, I'm going to call this game one way anyway because it's how I do it. I do it from a neutral. I don't support anyone when I'm doing these videos, and I've said that more than once. Um, but I want to talk more about disappointment of Brighton um, and a little slight doubts on West Ham as well. Um, Brighton, as I said, a match of the day. Um, Adam Webster turned his back on the ball. Um, Callum Wilson helped against his heels and just put it in. Congratulations to Callum Wilson, his first goal since September. Um, but all disappointment for Brighton. Webster, I don't think it's Premier League quality. That's just my opinion. Um, West Ham got similar issues. Defensive. Um, I'm still interested to know if West Ham do go down where Felipe Anderson and players like that are going to go. Same with Brighton. Um, but obviously got to wait to see what happens. But as far as this one goes, I'm going to go for a West Ham win. And I'm going to go for a 3 0 West Ham win. My next one is Manchester United versus Wolverhampton. Um, Man United, you know, uh, got the FL Cup coming up as well as I'm recording this, but I lost 2 0 at home to Burnley, the previous Premier League result. Um, Wolverhampton. You know, loses 2 1 at home to Liverpool. I wouldn't be too downhearted with that one either, if I'm all honest. 
But let's go and talk about Man United and Burnley. Man United were poor. Um, yes, they have beaten Tramier 6 now. But I know a lot of you United fans probably go, you know, say this. I know they have beaten Tramier, but it's a whole different cat of fish, and we all know it. So um, I'm not taking that into account. But it could help your confidence. So, you know, you got your players got to go do the job at the end of the day. This is just my perspective and my predictions. Um, but this point, Dave, for Man United against Burnley, losing 2 0, absolutely awful Man United. Wolves, I won't be too downhearted um, as well, you know, as a Wolves fan. And um, losing 2 1 at home to Liverpool, and I think Wolves might deserve to point out that game as well. Um, but as far as this one goes, I'm going to go for a Wolves win, and I'm going to go for a 3-0 Wolves win. My next one is Burnley versus Arsenal. Um, Burnley beating United 2-0, just that you mentioned that. Arsenal 2-2 away to Chelsea. Um, Arsenal... You know, Mikel Teta, is he the right man for the job? Only time will tell. Um, don't forget, we all go through his honeymoon period. Um, well, every new manager does most of the time at their new clubs. Um, Burnley, Burnley's a hard one to sum up. Because, yeah, they beat Man United. They won two out, two out of the last five, losing the other three. But you look at Arsenal, uh, uh, sitting in 10th, only winning one out of the last five. Drawing the other three, losing the other one. Um, I'm going to go for a Burnley win. And I'm going to go for a 1-0 Burnley win. My last one for this weekend, and it'll be a game I will be watching, is Tottenham versus Manchester City. Um, Man City beating Sheffield United 1-0 at home. Um, Tottenham beating Norwich 2-1 at home. Um, so Man City's away from home, Tottenham's at home. Tottenham under Jason, I'm still questioning, and yet it's up to you Tottenham fans, put your comments down below and tell me what your thoughts are about on Jason Mourinho. I still don't think he's the right man for the job. When I'm looking at your record here, you've won one out of the last five, losing two, drawing the other two. Um, Man City, Pep, you know, Pep Guardiola, um, winning four out of the last five and just drawing that one. So you're going in undefeated um, in your last five. So I'm going to go for a Man City win and I'm going to go for a 2 0 Man City win. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. So I'll be quite fun if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.